Libra, what is going on? Welcome to the channel. I am Debra. This is Preach Intuitive, and we're going to look at your energy for the next couple weeks. So let's get into it, Libra. I hope things are moving well for you. Things have been a little chaotic astrologically, and I'm hoping that regardless of what is going on, that you are able to find wisdom, strength, and move through things fluidly. That is the nature right now. We're just coming off of a full moon. The astrology has been very tense and it is definitely making us feel a certain kind of way. <laughs> Not only about ourselves, but around about the people that are around us. We will start off with this energy cleansing sage smudge bundle that has been soaked in dragon's blood. This amplifies protection, purification, cleansing out any negative intention, negative blocks, and adding that extra layer of, um, you know, protection over our mental, emotional well-being. We really need it right now, especially because we are being called to act from a place of awareness, moral value, <laughs> you know, being the better person, so to speak. This cleansing is also a really good time to set your own intention, Libra. So if you would like specific questions answered or messages delivered from spirit, give those now and be open to receive. All right. I bless you with pure love and light, pure source energy, pure loving grace. I release anything that is blocking the highest and best from coming through. Fear, doubt, insecurity, lack of worth, lack of value, anger, frustration, tension, limitation. Cleanse and release that from us now. Help to make me a clear and open channel for the collective. Thank you, Father God, Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels, Mama Love. Just a my throat chakra a little bit. Come on. Okay. I was feeling like it was closing up a little bit, Libra. So <laughs> extra insurance, right? We are in this time of, or what I was hearing as I was preparing for your reading, Libra, is there is this element of self-reflection that needs to come through. It's going to help give you guidance and direction on how to move forward. A lot has been changing and reshuffling in the collective. And it's been happening in a way that you can claim your power. You can step into a better version of yourself, a more successful, more abundant version of yourself if you want. We do have to do some of the work around that, i.e. looking at ourselves looking at what we invite into our life, also looking at how we interact with those dynamics, right? We're part of the equation as well. So heart awakening, I feel like this is, I'm hearing that you are stepping into your power in a way that feels more authentic, feels more honest. It's not just, um, you know, setting your life up in this neat, tidy way where nothing bad can happen. That's really unrealistic, right? This is more about being so centered and grounded in yourself that when things come up that jostle you, try to throw you off your path, stir the pot, cause drama, you're able to remain grounded in your heart, Open portal. Virgo actually got this card in the same exact spot. We're seeing this, especially as the weeks progress. Check out the weekly reading if you're interested. It talks a lot about how even if we're still being a little, um, you know, hurt on the topical end, our ego, our feelings, etc. There's a lot of soul work that is happening underneath the surface that is really opening up new portals, new timelines. 
Awareness is in the third eye. So paying attention to those intuitive messages, to those gut instincts that you are receiving. This is going to help make it not so arduous, meaning, you know how like when we really have to try to do something, it can just feel so annoying, so frustrating. But when we understand it from this intuitive perspective, it actually brings a lot of peace and ease and fluidity. It is part of that surrender component when we're talking about manifestation or evolution. So this is specifically in relation to things that you need to protect your energy from, right? Um, we don't have to combat everything. We don't have to put out the fires left and right. It's actually better to listen to our instincts and know what deserves our time and energy and what does not. Um, because again, then we're not going through something where we already know the lesson, been there, done that type of vibe. And I feel like because here I, I see, oh, oh, okay. Hold on. Hold on. I see for you that because you are operating from this very heart honoring space, from a place of love, i.e. unconditional love, people are getting jealous around you or they either want a piece of that or they feel like they can take advantage of that. As I was saying this <laughs> or think like as this message was coming through, I should say the emperor and the page of wands popped out. I feel like this is two different people for some of you. I'm hearing multiple people for others. There might be a ringleader, i.e. the emperor. This is Aries energy. This is divine masculine energy. Um, someone who is just kind of very controlling, manipulative, um, lies, deceives. They like to be in control. They like to be the ringleader. And I do feel like there is person or people that have gotten on board with this individual you might feel like you've been attacked or like you have had some hidden enemies needing to amp up the protection you don't necessarily have to hermit yourself but i do feel like it's very important to be picky and choosy with who and what you spend your time with Let's look a little bit deeper into this and how this is playing out. Okay. So someone's going to be bringing in a message, you know, and this is a lot of that. This is, I feel like, justification for bad behavior. This is someone trying to explain why they reacted in the way that they did or, you know, and maybe it's legitimate to some capacity, but at the same time, it is definitely this poor me type vibe. Like I said, this feels like someone who uses their explanations, their justifications as a means to control. That emperor energy feels very rigid. You're in this place, judgment, wake up call, where you're really seeing things for what they are. This is a little bit scary because you don't know, you don't know exactly like how deep this runs. Ten of wands, there's a lot of burden, there's a lot of stress. You have to pick and choose your battles know where to put like spend time putting out the fires but at the same time finding ways to remain balanced and not let it drive you crazy someone or something is putting a lot of responsibility on your plate and i feel like this is someone who has a lot going on as well but at the same time um I don't know. They feel like it's your responsibility to shoulder their burden. They're watching you. They're watching the way that you move through whatever you have going on right now. Queen of Swords is uh, Libra energy. You could have another Libra. This is also, it could be uh, Gemini or Aquarius as well. 
air energy. Someone, again, they're watching you. They're wanting to see how you approach things, how you're handling what you're dealing with, the stress, the burden, the overwhelm. What's this? Okay. Someone's going to be offering you something and... I feel like it is coming from this Queen of Swords energy. Yeah, new partnership, new relationship. They have two twos. They have a lot going on. They want you to, they want something that you have. They want something that you have, <laughs> period. And I don't know. Let's look at it a little bit more because Spirit's still calling you to protect yourself, to be really conscious and mindful of this offer. Hangman, seeing something in a new way from a new perspective. Knight of Cups. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. King of Coins. Okay. Um, so similar message in the way that... I feel like someone's trying to come back and give reasonings for what has happened. I feel like you, this, what is being communicated, whether this is from that emperor energy or from this queen of swords energy. Well, there's a couple different things going on because I'm seeing a couple different people, a couple situations that are popping up for you. I do see new opportunities coming in. I feel like you're going to have to filter between, again, what feels right, what fits for you and what doesn't. I am seeing some past people connected to this. Um, I feel this is where this Two of or Queen of Swords, Two of Cups, Two of Pentacles energy is coming from. I feel like you're also hearing new information about a situation, about a person that sheds light, that fills in the gaps, fills in the holes for some stuff that has happened in the past. And that's why this Queen of Swords is watching you very closely. I don't know. I mean, I feel like you... There's something about it that just isn't sitting right with you. There's something about this offer. Maybe it's just the situation as a whole. Maybe it's the way that things went down. Not really, like, it doesn't feel palatable. That's what I keep hearing. Like, you just saw different sides of people that you didn't really like. Them doing, making choices, engaging in behaviors that you wouldn't necessarily do. And so it's making you resistant to this new beginning. You'd rather wait on it. You know, I think that you want to wait on other opportunities that are coming your way. Seven of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles being in your blocked energy is like, I think there's something better. I think that there's something better on the horizon. That's where I do feel this past energy being attached to this Libra. Yeah, there's that messages, communications coming in with the Eight of Wands. I would have heard to pick this too. Eight of okay, so we have Eight of Wands to the Seven of Wands. So it's a it's it's digressing, right? I feel like either this this person, this situation didn't take the opportunity when it was available. And so it completely shifted your perspective. It completely shifted your trajectory. You're in a space where you've brought in new opportunities for yourself. You're continuing to push forward. Yes, there is a lot. There is a lot in front of you. It's not all rainbows and rose petals. <laughs> you know, you have to keep pushing. But I feel like this is what this person is banking on, um, that you need them. They want you, but they want you to need them. And I honestly feel like the way this conversation is going to go is actually going to give you way more insight to be like, nah, <laughs> I don't really know about this. I don't know if this is really truly what I'm vibing with. 
Yeah, spirit wants you to step into your power. Nine of coins energy is very independent. It's very self-sufficient. It's relying on self. You might have been in partnership with this individual in the past. I love this. Nine of cups has been coming out left and right. Thank God. We need it. We need some of these blessings coming in, especially for the places that we are putting in the hard work. And Again, spirit saying, Libra, the more that you trust on yourself, trust in yourself, that intuition, that third eye perspective, the more spirit is going to honor and bless that. And we are seeing past residual people pop up, um, you know, trying to see what they can get, trying to see if you're still available, trying to see, you know, if. You want to re-engage with that energy and and spirits really just saying to be really conscious about what you choose. Really, even if you don't know the best answer, take time. You don't have to deliver an answer right away. If someone's asking you to, then that needs to be taken into account as well. If someone's pressuring you to make a decision, this is directly related to what you are manifesting, Libra, and the way that you're manifesting it. We're seeing this a lot across the board, Pluto in retrograde, that people situations are coming back in. It is a level of testing as to where we're at are we, again, are we going to re-engage or are we going to pursue something that does make us more, makes us happy, feel fulfilled, especially if this situation didn't end well or there was a lot of toxicity present, that needs to be looked at as well. Anytime we re-engage in anything, nine times out of 10, it's going to be the exact same, right? Um, yes, people evolve, people grow, but we want to tread very consciously, cautiously, I should say, when we are re-engaging in those things. There was a lot of sadness. There was a lot of heartbreak. It's caused a lot of stress and burden in your life and in a way that you had to kind of wake up, wake up to the realities. You know, life can be a little bit brutal and Again, not to be all woe is me victim mentality, but at the same time, I do feel like you saw something in this person that made you just feel like, oh, well, that's what it is. This is someone who doesn't really care how you feel. They're just going to make a decision because that's what they think is best. Yeah, justice. So that Libra energy really, and I feel like for you, okay, so uh, we can't control what other people think, say, do, right? So we have to just be able to observe the situation and understand how it affects us, how it affects our long-term plans. Is it really someone or something that we want to engage with? Or is it better for us to look at it in that bird's eye diplomatic perspective so that we can manifest something that is more in alignment with our happiness and our fulfillment? And honestly, truly, like the way the astrology is moving is it's really encouraging us not to go back and <laughs> don't get sucked back in. Yes, Obviously, there are situations, relationships where there is growth and evolution. I'm not saying cut everyone off, blah, blah, blah. What I'm trying to say is those places that we're not feeling honored, supported, loved, respected, those are the things that we really need to scrutinize. Those are the things that we really need to evaluate within us. Is it worth it to take us into this next timeline or is this something that we need to have boundaries and protect our energy from so libra i hope this reading helps thank you always for your time and energy especially if you've made it this far in the video it blesses my heart definitely drop comments below i love to hear how it resonates or if you just want a little love i am here to give it thank you always sending all the love and blessings your way i'll see you soon